Hey everybody, this is Snook. Today I want to share something really exciting. A couple days ago, a box came and it was addressed to my son and me. It actually had the name Splinterland on it. And I was like, what? I sent a note to my son and told him about it. And he goes, oh, good, it finally came. He says, there might be more than one box. I said, I don't know, this one's pretty darn heavy. He's like, really? And I said, yeah, it, it's very heavy. We are talking, we decided that I get to open it so he gets to see what he got. Now, my understanding is, is that the stuff that came in here is because he put money towards the Kickstarter. So this is whatever I don't know what amount he put towards I think it's pretty cool let's get into it this box is huge and it is filled first thing I see it's a bag and it has a note that says hello and thank you for supporting our Kickstarter if you have any questions contact us from the Splinterlands team which is really nice and then in here oh these are stickers of, I'm assuming the different so you get two stickers each and then in here is a really cool Splinterlands decal I really like that and in here ooh, so then you got this little envelope plastic envelope and inside are real playing cards and he received the Sacred Unicorn, which is, looks really cool. The Pirate Captain, which also looks really cool. They're all shiny. The Lightning Dragon. Sacred Unicorn and the Pirate one are really shiny. They're like holographic almost. Um, the lightning dragon is is not but it is a real card that is really cool I'm gonna be very very careful and put them back where they belong the first thing you learn when you marry into my husband's family is is that you don't throw away the packaging and you do not take it out of the box. <laughs> I have a hard time with those rules, but okay. So we got a nice little letter, and there's all kinds of stuff on the bag. We got some really cool stickers with all the different kinds of cards you can get. This is really cool. And then we got some physical cards with, I'm assuming, the top one, the unicorn, is the rarest of all. So that's number one. Now, there is, there's a lot in here. Holy cow. Okay, so I'm assuming this is a book. This looks like a, a book. Feels like a book, but I don't know. So let me open this. This is actually really exciting. I love opening boxes. I love opening things that I don't know what they are. So this is a win-win for me. And it'll make him happy, so that's even better. Ooh. This is the Encyclopedia of the Splinters Campaign Guide. And this is what it looks like. It's very beautiful. And, oh, it has, it goes through each card with the stories. Oh, here's the unicorn. And there's the unicorn that he got the card for. It's just gorgeous. And here's the major NPCs. The new summoners. 
Oh, here's a glossary of terms. I don't want to break the spine. The timeline. This is just a really cool book. Really cool. This is really cool. And uh, let me read the let me read the back. In the cradle of time, before the crash of the seed, the planet was still lifeless and frankly quite boring. When the ancient ones arrived, in a shaft of blinding light, the planet moaned, for it knew that its time of peace had come to a crashing halt. The ancient ones settled on the planet, recklessly creating life in countless forms and unwittingly disturbing old and untold secrets of the cold and dark. Over the years, the creatures and monsters of the planet grew too powerful to live peacefully together and war was born. The ancient ones could no longer control their creations, nor could they cooperate with one another after so much chaos and turmoil. Violence, fear, and war had all reached a bloody pinnacle, and the planet itself was preparing to expel the multitude of wretched creatures for its own defense. Great storms raged, waters flooded the valleys, and quakes tore the surface of the planet asunder. Something had to be done before all life was destroyed. Finally, setting aside their contentious differences, the ancient ones came together in a meeting that decided the planet's fate. Using all the magic they possessed, they could create a catechismic event. This last desperate effort to rid the planet of war, which would later be called the splintering, did not work out as expected. Welcome to the Splinterlands. This is really cool. Really, really cool book. I guess this must be the t-shirt. He said he had to tell him what size he was. So he got a large. So let's see what this looks like. It smells like a t-shirt. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. So on the front, it has the little, all the characters. Or oh, that's the back. That's actually the back of it. And then on the front, it has Splinterlands with all the different fractions. That is really cool. This is a nice, good quality shirt, too. It'll definitely soften up if you wash it. So that's cool. That's very cool. You can't miss it if you're walking down the street. Can you tell I don't play Splinterlands? Because I have a feeling that if my son was opening these, or anybody that plays Splinterlands, they'd be showing um, much more excitement <laughs> than I am. But that book is high. Everything is really nice quality. All right, I don't want to open these all the way up, um, but if you can see, they're hard plastic, and they come with cards in them. This says air element, and this one says air element, but they were packaged together. And there's some other packages that are in here. That's a lot of card. There's a lot of cards in there, cause it's bigger than a. Unless they're thicker, but it's it looks bigger than a 52 card regular deck of cards. Ooh, this is one large box, 
and it's got Val Namar Numeric on the front and he's shiny. This is a whole bunch of cards too. So and there's a, a shiny one on this. So I'm I'm assuming because it's shiny that's like you know it's a good thing. Shiny is always a good thing. And then Now, is this going to be another big one or too small? Let's find out. This is another large one. And on it, Shiloh, Shiloh. Oh, this one is opened a little bit. Uh-oh. How did that happen? I don't want to take that off. But that wasn't from... It, oh, it came that way. So anyway, this one has the dragon on it. And it's another really large one. But again, I married into a family that you, these are kind of things that you don't open. And if my son, whenever he comes here, wants to open them, that's great. But I'm not taking responsibility for that. And if he wants me to open them, I will. But I don't know that right now. And he's sleeping, I'm sure. So these are the ones. So you got two large ones and two of the smaller ones. And then they both have the same card on the front. So I don't know if that's the same deck or, or what. And that is the, the box. So really, you got a heck of a lot of cards. Plus you got the three special cards too. That was really cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry, I just don't feel comfortable opening up the all the cards out of the plastic boxes because um, like I said uh, as soon as you open something it loses value and I'm not sure what he's planning on doing with those cards I wanted to share with him what he got and I got to do it so hopefully it makes him happy hopefully you guys got to see what's in the Splinterlands Kickstarter Again, I don't know how much you had to pay to get this box in the Kickstarter. I have no idea. So, but I wanted to share it so my son could see it. And I had his permission to open it. Have a really wonderful weekend and I will talk to you later.